Okay, so welcome back. Today we're going to talk about how you can, in a very, very simple one line of code, run a, like you see here in a command line interface, run a command in your C-sharp application to do stuff. Now you may have seen on the internet people talking about how you can run commands in your C-sharp application using these very fancy libraries, but in fact you can do it with one line of code, and we're going to show you how to do that. Now why would you need that? Well, one example uh, you see here, here's our file explorer in Windows, and you can look at all of the computers connected to your network. Presently, it shows a laptop on my network. However, that laptop is offline. So one of the challenges with networking in Windows, and it's been there ever since I can remember, uh, networking is always kind of annoyance. So we've got a, a laptop that shows up that's offline, but this computer I'm running on right now is not shown, nor is a laptop that is online. That's not shown. So one of the things you can do to start investigating what are the connected computers is you can run a command line command. And here I'm going to do a ping. And we did a previous video talking about how to do a multi-threaded ping to find all of the computers on your subnetwork. So I'm going to do a ping for the computer that's actually online. And you can see it goes through and actually has a successful ping. Another example is recently we've been talking about if you want to restart your computer into BIOS or system setup, it can be kind of annoying because depending on the manufacturer of your computer, there are different key presses you need to do as you restart in order to jump into BIOS. It could be Escape or F10 or F2, depending on the manufacturer. And sometimes you can press the key, but it goes so fast, it doesn't allow you time to get that key press in, so you can't jump into BIOS. So as we found in our other video, there is a very nice command in Windows that allows you to shut down the computer when you run that command and automatically boot into whatever BIOS or setup. You don't have to worry about the key presses. It does it automatically. So. Just a couple examples why you would like to have command line usage inside your C-sharp application. So here I am in a brand new C-sharp Visual Studio Windows Forms application. If you don't know how to get here, um, I've got a three-part series for beginners on how to run your first C-sharp application in Visual Studio. Very, very simple. And I've got my main form one. And all I'm going to do is I'm going to add a button here. And the button is going to allow me to when I press the button, it's going to go in the background and it's going to run whatever command line interface command I specify along with its arguments. So I'm going to go to the toolbox. I'm going to take a button, drag and drop the button. And you can rename it if you want. But I'm going to double click that. And you can see we now have our button click, our initialized component. I'm going to right click and remove and sort all the usings. And when we press this button, it's going to run our command. So one thing you need to add is the system.diagnostics from Windows. So I'm going to say using system.diagnostics. And that's going to allow us to use a single line of code to do this. Now. There are two things required to specify when you do the command. When we did our ping, the command was ping, and we added to that some arguments. And the argument in our case was basically the IP address we wanted to ping. So there are two things we need to specify, the command and the arguments. So what we're going to do is we're going to have two strings specifying those two things. You don't need to do this. Uh, it's just nicer to have parameters rather than hard code it inside the command. So we're going to say static string file name equals, and we're going to use shutdown.exe. And that is the Windows command that allows you to shut down the computer. And you specify some arguments with that to give it more specifics. In our case, we want to shut down and then restart. We're also going to specify the arguments. Static string 
arguments equals, and we're going to use an at sign because we're going to have some forward slashes here. So the properties we're going to use, and you can look at this if you want to do the shutdown, you can look at the Windows shutdown command. It shows uh, in the Windows documentation all the properties. But we're going to do a slash R, which, asks, which tells it to do a restart. We're going to do a slash FW, which tells it to boot into the system setup or the BIOS. We're going to also do a slash T and specify five seconds, which tells it we want it to wait five seconds after we press the button, wait five seconds before you actually restart. So these are the arguments, and here is the file name, and the only line of code we need to use is process.start, and then we can specify file name, comma, arguments. And at this point, we are all done specifying what command we want to run, and it's going to start a process and run this shutdown.exe with these properties. And that's basically it. Now, there's a couple things to keep in mind when you do this. Um, if you're going to specify an executable, a command line executable, make sure that if you need to fully qualify this, it's, maybe it's not a system like shutdown.exe, not a system command, you may need to fully qualify the location of the executable, the command, if you're going to do it. So keep that in mind here. It's a system command, so I don't need to fully qualify it with the C colon Windows colon System32, whatever, but you may need to do that. Also, when you generate an executable, you go here to Release and run it, and you open in File Explorer and you go in the bin, Release, and it will show the executable. Make sure if you need to run this as an administrator that you set it to run as administrator. In this case, if I want to do a shutdown and reboot to BIOS, this FW requires that I have administrator privileges. So make sure that not only you fully qualify if you need to, but also whatever command line command you're going to run. If you need to run as administrator, make sure the executable you generate here runs as administrator. Now, what if you want to run a process, but you also want to get back some feedback, like some string data that this generates when I run this process. For example, if I do a ping, it's going to be give me a bunch of lines of information about the results of the ping. What if I want to grab all of that into a text or a string that I can then print out? Um, there is another way to do this using the system diagnostics process that allows you to grab the return value of the data from running this. And may, we may talk about that in a future video, but this just shows you how you can get started running uh, command line commands in your C-sharp application. So if you like any of these videos, I encourage you to hit the like button, subscribe, hit the bell notifications. But most of all, please let others know that we're here so we get some views. Really appreciate it. Otherwise, take care. Have a really good day. Thanks.